What's going on guys, it's Faded here, and today I'm going to bring you my render settings and what I used to capture my gameplay on the Xbox 360. I use Sony Vegas to edit and render out my videos, and I use this program called Virtual Dub to record. So first what you want to do is go to virtualdub.org, and then go ahead and click on Downloads. I use Virtual Dub because the official software that the Dazzle comes with, it's called uh, Pinnacle Studio. I think that program is complete shit. I've had a lot of problems with it, like it lags when I'm recording, and sometimes there's audio lag, and it's just really bad. I don't like it. Maybe it's just my computer, who knows. But if you have a 32-bit operating system, you want to go ahead and download this one right here. And if you have a 64-bit, just download this one. Just click on the link and you can go ahead and do that. I'm not going to waste my time because you guys should know how to install programs. After it's, go, uh, after it's done installing, just find where you saved it. Click on the Virtual Dub application. Make sure it's the application type. And then you're going to see a blank white screen. Just go to File, Capture AVI. And then you'll see, here's my Xbox, I already have my Dazzle connected. Click on File, Set Capture File Name. Just name it whatever your clip is. I'll do Dazzle Tut for this video. Save it on your desktop. I save it on my desktop because it's just easy access to get to. You don't have to go through anything. For device, I don't really mess with these settings, just make sure your Dazzle or your HT PVR or uh, Roxio GameCat, whatever you use to record, because uh, this program can record anything. And then for video, uh, go to Video to Source and make sure you have Composite checked if you're using the red, white, yellow cables on your Dazzle. Or use S Video if you have the S Video connected to your Dazzle. S Video, by the way, it gives, uh, it gives better quality and a clearer picture than Composite. For audio, make sure your Dazzle is selected for the audio device or whatever you're using. Enable audio capture, that's if you want sound on your game, on your video I mean. And the audio playback, that's just so you can hear it on your Xbox, you don't need this checked. And when you're ready to record, go ahead and click capture video. I'll just do a little 20 second video here, just shoot some guns or something. Alright, seems good. After you're done capturing, go ahead and click Stop Capture. And then you'll notice that it's saved right there on the desktop, ready to be edited. So go ahead and close out Virtual Dub. Open up Sony Vegas Pro. Uh, if you don't already have Sony Vegas, you can go to thepiratebay.se and torrent it. Just type in Sony Vegas. I would sort it out by uh, SC, that means seeds. The more seeds it has, the faster the download will be and the more legit the download probably is. Just go, I would download the first one or whatever one you want. I use uh, this one right here, 64 bit multi language with Keygen. If you don't already have a torrent downloader, I recommend BitTorrent. It's pretty good, it's the only one I've ever really used. You can go ahead and Google that and you'll find it right away. So just click on whatever one. And then you want to click on Get This Torrent. And then you open it up with BitTorrent and it'll start downloading. After it's done downloading, you want to install it and follow the instructions it comes with and it's ready to go. I don't, well, torrent at your own risk because problems can happen. You can get a huge fine. And uh, it's possible you could go to jail for it, but I've torrented a lot of things, guys. Like, I have Adobe Photoshop here and Vegas Pro. Uh, there's some other things I've torrented, and I've never had problems, so I think it's pretty safe. But do it at your own risk. Don't blame me if, you, if anything happens. So what you want to do is go ahead and open up Sony Vegas. Click on File. And then Open. Find your video file that you just made. open this up, wait for it to load. You'll see here there's some black bars on the side on the preview. That's an easy fix, you just right click it, click on properties, 
disable resample and then uncheck the maintain aspect ratio and you'll see you get the full screen effect and then for my editing I only use three settings it's pretty simple I haven't really messed with anything else besides these three I'll show you which ones I do I do color corrector secondary default you right click it and then you want to drag it to your video and the only thing I change is the saturation now how big you want to go it all really depends on the level you can see it got a little more colorful I usually do 1.5 sometimes I'll do 1.4 close that out I also do color curves default and then drag it to your video and then you just mess with these and however whatever looks good on your video Usually it's different settings for different levels and different maps. It really depends on the colors and stuff. I'm talking about Call of Duty, by the way. Uh, so just, yeah, even these out. The top one is for brightness and the bottom one's for darkness. Even that out, you know, however, whatever makes you happy with your video. Close that out. And then I do scroll down, go to sharpen, default, right click it and drag it to your video. I usually do, instead of 0.5, I do 0.4, click enter. Uh, you can't really see difference, but it does make a difference. It makes your video look a lot more uh, clear and a lot more sexy, in my opinion. You should probably always do that with your videos. And then, yeah, those are the only settings I do. I haven't really bothered to mess with anything else. As you can see, there's a bunch of different settings here you can do. You just click down on this arrow and you can preview your video, see and if you're happy with it. It looks pretty good, so I'm just going to go ahead and render it out now. So you go to File, Render As. Name it whatever you want to name it. I'm not going to name it for now. Uh, for your output format, there's all these different ones you can choose from, but I find that Windows Media Video V11 works the best. I just leave it on the default one. This gives you a 720B, oh my bad, 720P HD video on YouTube. You can choose these ones if you want 1080p, but they take a lot longer to render out, so I just leave it on the 720p setting. You just click on that and then click render. And then wait for it to render out. Uh, how long it takes, it all depends on your computer hardware and how fast your computer is. It also depends on the length of the video. Like a 30 second video shouldn't take that long to render out at all. But a 5 to 10 minute video will take up to a couple hours. But that's just on my computer. I don't have the greatest computer. My computer is pretty slow actually. I hate it. Um, but yeah, so once that's done rendering out, I'm just going to cancel this. You can find it on your computer and uh, it's ready to be uploaded to YouTube. I would watch it and make sure you're happy with it. And that's about it, guys. So if this video helped you, please leave a like and leave a comment if you have any questions, and I can try my best to help you. Uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and have a good day, guys. I'm out.